Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 3 of Seopolis 2, a mod pack by Beb and Law. Well, in the last episode, we went through the whole organic matter questline. We got all of it done. And then, uh, we also completed a lot of other questline. Like basically, chapter 1 is completely finished, and in chapter 2, we have so very little to do. So in my time lapse, I really worked hard on this island and I'm slowly trying to migrate away from this island to the new one. So let's just grab. Oh, there's still processing here. How much processing? Okay, so let's go see the other island and we'll come back. So the cables that you see underground, uh, underwater, are five uh, blocks down. And the five blocks down, so I decided to make kind of a code for myself everything that's five level down all points back to this like a uh, controller underneath or this drawer it's to input items so if i come back here uh, i automated i semi automated the mob farm what i mean by semi automated is that i still am not trolling in the garbage the bad stuff and i'm still getting some new stuff that i need to put in a drawer but everything else is being piped in so this will put in here. I'm even grabbing the basic loot box. So this central island is 9 by 27 long. Why 27? That's a really weird number. But it's because the way that the drawer controller works is that you can go up to 12 in each direction. So 12 that way plus 12 that way is 24. Plus that one right here is 25. Plus a spacer on each side is 26 and 27. I think I'm missing one or two drawers here. I'm gonna have to fix that later. And on this side will be all of the machines that I don't automate. All the machines like, here, I'm not automating the drying rack, but when I need it, I'll just come here and use it. Not automating the sawmill or the stone cutter, but when I need them, I'll just come here. Then, as you can see, I've split my island in two. On this side, I'm going to do general processing and crafting of special resource. And on this side, I'm going to be doing massive resource generation. And my intention with that is like, I'm not, if you're looking at what I'm doing here, I'm using the driftwood slab, like kind of as a walkway and the stone brick slab as the processing areas. For these side, I'm just going to go 60, 80, 200, 1000 block away. I don't care but I'm just going to expand my automation down this way as much as I need to for a resource. So now I have a uh, 16 botany pot just working on oak sapling because we need so much wood. I just don't want to have to deal with missing wood. And we've got 690 logs. We're also getting oak sapling, sticks and apples, but that's very minimal. In the last episode, we also made uh, sugar cane, cactus, and bamboo. So I set these three up to produce, and they have one drawer. And we had found carrots and potatoes, so I also set up carrots and potatoes here. And I'm out of botany pots, so I'm going to have to go adventuring a bit more to get more botany pots. And right here, I decided to automate dirt because I was also running out of dirt. I didn't have dirt for anything anymore. Um, so a 9x9 island is 91 dirt so that's not enough but that's going to get us started uh, let's talk about this first quickly and here we have the cobblestone production so basically basically i set up my four resource generator two to cobblestone drawers right here and i'm going to extract from those and i'm going to keep a drawer of cobblestone here like in my main drawer system for crafting stuff but, and the rest I'm going to send to either lava production or resource generation. So right here, I'm going to have another resource section. That resource section is going to be a mix of power and, and a hammering. And the next island over is going to be lava production. Or maybe I put lava there and resource production. Like I haven't decided yet, that's something I need to do today. So let's just sleep because I don't want the night. And then we can go back to the other island, check if our sieves are finished because I want to grab these sieves and bring them over. So let's just go back. Oh, great, another egg. 
Uh, let's just go back right here and let's get rid of that egg and see if we finish processing resources. Yes, we finished processing resource. So let's just grab whatever we have here and just continuously cook those. So K and K and come here, do the tin, do the copper and the rest. I'm going to put in here for now. Oh, let me grab these. And if I do this, that's five more. And if I grab these and I press K because that's a nine by a three by three. So I have enough block of coal for 18 more crucibles. Okay, so now I didn't take this off in the time lapse because I was still processing resource. But now that we're done processing resource, let me grab this and the basic item collector and all of these sieves and the click machine. And the click machine, perfect. And we're going to go on the other island where, well, our, our final base, like our final base is going to be right here. So I made this cute setup. Like, I think I like this idea. So step upstairs to come up here. And right here, we're going to have the nine sieves in the same configuration as the other side. Uh, I'm going to need, well, let's grab a piece and a hope oak plant plank oh my god talking is hard put that right there and then we can put the clicker back on it and the last sieve and then we can put all of those flint mesh back here so for now my idea i'm going to need some more drawers i'm going to need some more drawers so let's make some more drawers i'm going to grab two stacks and you know what that crafting table is way too far i'm just going to bring it back around here so these are going to be uh, chests and this is going to all be made into plank so that now we can make um, more drawers because we always need more drawers. Perfect. Okay. So uh, if I come back here, uh, for now, I'm going to put three drawers. There are three things that I want to sieve. Right now, I want to be able to sieve gravel dust and organic matter let me grab this and you can see the setup i'm going to make in a moment so these three drawers i'm going to lock to organic uh, gravel dust organic matter and i have place for a second oh not that i have place for a second right here a second set of sieves but the problem i have right now is that i only have nine flint mesh once i get more flint i can put another nine flint mesh here but the next upgrade is going to be iron and when i upgrade to iron it's going to take me a long while to upgrade both sides so i want to be able to always process on the best kind of sieves for the time being well that's set up now let's go back up there and we need to now set up the range collection that we used to have so two then we need a chest I guess I didn't make enough chest. Let's just grab another stack. That's the beauty of having set up all of that wood production. Now I can just make as many as I need of everything. So we're gonna set the chest right there. Break these two things. Put the re basic resource collector back like so. And then all we need to do is collect this, uh, connect, not collect, connect this. And this is also connected to my uh, drawer controller system and uh, voila. So technically we're ready to restart processing. So let's just go back on the other side and grab the uh, organic matter. And by the way, grab everything else maybe. Um, yeah, let's grab this dust. Does the drawer keep the content when I break it? Yes, it does. So let's grab these two. And since we're here, let's also grab the flux hammer and the compression dynamo. I hope they don't lose their content. They probably do, but doesn't matter. We need to go to the other side and set things back up. So let's come back right here and this drawer right here. So I'm going to remove that drawer and break this off and put the organic matter 
Oh no, these are organic matter block. Okay, bad call, bad call. Just one second, grab this and set back the empty drawer that we had. And with a torch on top for monster spawning. And that organic matter block thing is going to go right here instead. Like so. And I need to reset this. Oh, first, I want to make sure that this is keyed so that nothing else goes in there. I'm going to key all three since I'm here. And then I can go and extract this. And this is semi-automated. We haven't even put the resource in, but now the resource are going to go in this chest. And, come on. And going to get grabbed and bought. Ooh, okay, no, sorry. So now I need to do the next step. I need to add more drawers. So one, two, three, four. And these should fill up with the new resources. Nope, I don't want you, I don't want you, I don't want you. Uh, these tiny coals are already in here, so let's put those in here. Now I have tin. I want the copper right here. I don't want tin there. I want tin there. Come on. And then coal there. Perfect. So now we can lock these four drawers. One, two, three, four are all locked. And these resource, I'm just going to go and destroy. Whatever mob thingies that I don't want, I just destroy them. Like so. Which is not automated yet, but that's something I'm going to do a bit later. So now let's just come back up here and place by the way i'm going to make that drawer thing for high i just don't have enough drawers or uh, uh i just don't have enough drawers for now although with 26 more i'm getting close okay so let's just eat a little bit before we continue so everything is going to come back to these drawers for processing i'm gonna have to connect those they're not connected yet because anyway i'm not producing dust and gravel yet so I want to show you the next step for me, and that's the important step. If I, oh, you know what? I'm going to go back to the other base and grab the other drawers of resource that we need and set them up. So let's just come right back here. And are these locked? So these are not locked. I'm going to make sure that they get locked first. Locked, locked, and locked. And then let's grab all of this all of this this chest and hopefully i can ulti mine this nope okay oh yes it worked for the top so i don't know what happened on the other part but it worked for the, the top so now we can come back here and we're going to set these things right here uh yeah i'm gonna put them completely on this corner one two three four so which one is which this is Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, so let's put them however we find them. Pebble, uh, dust, and flint. So let's grab a pebble, let's grab a dust, and let's grab a stack of flint. I'm going to put a stack of flint in the middle. And, oh, I need to lock these drawers. And then I can explain the setup. And you know what? Let's grab four dust. Two, three, four, and four pebbles. Okay, so I'm going to have uh, the dust goes in the corner. So one, 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 and one, and then the pebbles goes in the diagonals. Let's just split it in four. Here, oh, I threw the pebble instead of putting it in the drawer. Let's grab one other pebble and come back here and put it here. Then I'm going to also prepare the next one with pebbles. So if I come back here, I'm also going to put four pebbles in the diagonals. And I'm going to explain this one later. So what I, I've done is under the water right here, I've put a drawer controller. So this drawer controller is to insert stuff. Now I'm going to come right here and put this and separate it so that these are not touching. Oh, I need to get out of the water and I need another drawer controller. Hopefully I made more. So let's go back to the 
other island to see if we have more drawer controller there. Like this back and forth is going to be uh, probably the last episode that we need to do this, but for now, I don't really have another choice. When I miss stuff, it's going to be in here. Did I not make like four of each? Oh, I made four drawer controller, four uh, slave controller, and... Well, I guess I didn't. So let's make some more drawer controllers. No, let's bring a stack of stone on the other side. Let's go back to the other side, and I'm kind of surprised. I thought for sure I'd done that, but... I guess I don't remember everything that I've done. So let's just sleep because I don't want any darkness. And now let's make our next drawer con uh, slave controller. So slave, oh, slave controller are made with which one? They're made with the uh, one by two. So let's come right here and let's make some uh, one by twos. We need five for each, so let's make 10 so I can make two drawer controller. And like this, and that's going to give me two drawer slave controller, perfect. Then we can go back under, you can have as many drawer slave controller as you want in this uh, system. So let's break this, which is going to be a bit slow because we're underwater, unfortunately. I should probably have taken out this whole line Oh, this is... I'm going to get hurt. Okay, so I'm really unhappy about that. So I'm going to do it this way, which I find really dumb. But that's the way I have to do it. And place one right here. Then we're going to close back that gap and go back under. Let's go back under. And so because I've disconnected these two, now I can go from this one and I need to connect to here. We just finished doing the connection and oh i went too fast so again i'm going to need to disconnect and uh, disconnect and from here what i want to extract i want to extract dust stone pebbles and i can't really extract sorry i hit my microphone i can't really extract insert the flint yet uh, we're going to take care of that later so for now what i'm going to do is just grab a couple of stack of flints and put them in the center and then I'm going to come back here and say one of this, one of this, and we're going to go under. We're going to first split, and then we're going to set that to out extract, put a filter, and then on the filter, I'm going to make sure that it's set to round robin and both of these resources. So now I'm going to explain what's going to happen. I made sure that every single one of these, so these three drawers are connected by the under, these three are, are connected by the under. Ooh, that would have been bad if I had not locked those. Just one second. Let's lock all of those. And everything else, so the side one is connected here, 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 and here. And the top ones are all connected from the top. So now that I have that done, I'm going to reconnect my drawer. And because it's on round robin, we should have an equal input of every item everywhere. So if I come back out from under there, this now has 280 dust, 280 dust, 280 dust, 200, 256, 256, 255, 256, 256, 256, 255, 256. So yeah, round robin is making sure to set uh, items in each drawers equally. Now, if you look at this, four dust in the corners, four pebbles in the crosses, and a flint in the middle, what should that produce? that's going to produce the um the organic matter so well, let me just grab one stick and one cobblestone we're going to make a lever and the beauty so when i started looking into this i thought it only made uh items from what was behind but basically what it does is that it looks for items in drawers or chest and see what it can craft from so this is the perfect recipe and if i turn it on it's just we have now automated the uh crafting of poor transformation powder so i'm gonna grab one and i'm gonna go back there and put one in the center and grab it back and the reason i did that is if we look at poor transformation powder 
it's also used in the crafting of improved transformation powder. So this one is going to be for improved. So we're going to have the first level, the poor transformation powder. And here we're going to have the, uh, what's it called? Intermediate or um, what is it called? Improved transformation powder. But we need to go through the whole Bronze Age before we're able to do that. So these, that powder, when we're going to extract it, we're going to split it in two. We're going to put half in this drawer right there and the other half is going to go into the lava processing system to make these, um, I don't remember the name, these organic matter block. Everything's processed here, good. So that's what we're going to be doing right there. Oh, if only, I wish there was a way for YouTubers to just like say no rain ever. It's just like there's no advantage to the rain and I know that it's making a really bad video and when you go to sleep, it always says only at night or during thunderstorm. But this is just regular rain. So now the quality of the video is going to be not so good because I don't really have another choice. Okay, the problem is that this is not connected and this is not connected. Uh, I can't connect it from the back because of this. And if I put a slave controller, then it wouldn't do the round robin for these. So although it's super freaking ugly, the only solution I've ever found to this is doing it. You know what? Is to, oh yeah, I don't have a choice. Is to do it this way. And now I'm going to need something to climb on. So let's just grab that. And then just connect it. Oh, and now I've trapped myself. Connect it this way. Let's just break this, get out and connect it again. So now technically, yeah, the flint is going in there and all of my flint is going to go in there, which is not what I want. So what we're going to do, ooh. Um, so for one second, we're going to turn that off and we're going to need to go back to the base because we need a little bit of bee bucks. So let's come right here and back here. We're going to grab some of our bee bucks and then I'm going to come to the store uh, shopping spree and I'm going to use I'm going to buy two drawer downgrade. Perfect. Uh, then grab this. What else is there? Is there something? Yeah, let's grab the No, I don't need any of this. What I wanted to grab was those because they go in my drawer system on the other side. And you know what? I'm going to bring the bee buck on the other side in case I need them. So let's go back to the other side. And then we're going to put the bee buck in here and we're going to shift click everything in there. And you know what? Let's put some plank in here. We're probably going to need some at some point and we're going to need some stone in here. So let's put some stone in here. And if I come back here, now we're going to need to empty this drawer a little bit, but now I can install the downgrade and the downgrade makes it so that it's never going to go above 64 because I don't need to store all my flint in there. And right here, I'm going to do the same thing for this and say, never put more than uh, 64 pore transformation powder in there. Then I can come back here and that's going to keep my flint. For the others, I really don't care that they go higher uh, right now, maybe later I'm going to downgrade them, but for now I have no problem with them being right there and just so that they continue filling with whatever we're producing. Let me grab this and let's come back here and get rid of this. Whew. Okay, so this is done. Uh, now my problem, one of the problem that I have right now is that I want to continue setting up my island beautifully, but... There's a little problem with setting up my island beautifully. I'm out of these drift, drift wood slab. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just do a, a really bastardized setup. So I'm going to go three across like this. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. I need a fifth one. Then one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's close back to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we just need to close back this way. Perfect. And we're going to set dirt. So right here is a place, this is too close to my mob farm. So it's not ideal, but it's not some place that I'm going to go often. So I don't really mind all that much that it's close to. I thought it was going to, ooh, raw goose. I thought it was going to fly away if I hit it once, but yes, it really wanted to stay. Oh, and we know we're missing one dirt, which is not a problem. And we can now sleep, so we'll get rid of the rain. Woohoo! Okay, so now we're going to go grab the one dirt that I'm missing. Oh, nope, I'm not producing dirt anymore. So let me grab a stack of potato, a stack of carrot, and a stack of oak sapling. Nope, not enough of those. Perfect, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to set all of these to compost. Perfect. As long as I keep just a little bit, I should always be good. And that's going to give me the one dirt that I'm missing. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to break and maybe make a goose, but uh, didn't. Okay, so that's the last dirt that I needed. So I'm going to go and place that last dirt right here. And... What do I need? Okay, so I need some fences. Let's grab this and let's come right here to the oak sawmill. So we need some oak fence. Uh, I'm going to need 9 plus 9, 18 plus 7, 25 plus 7, 32, 31. 31. Yeah, perfect. Let's grab this. And right since we're here, we're, we're going to get rid of this. And I want the door to be in the middle. So right here. And again, all of this is going to be replaced by driftwood when we get to it. So now I can just surround this whole place. And maybe I'm going to put a door there also. But for now, this is all I need. I just need one door. Oh. Why did I not use my axe? I don't know. Don't ask. So right here. And now I need a door. So for the door, uh, unfortunately, this doesn't produce door. Which I'm surprised, but okay, it doesn't produce door. So what? Let's come back here and grab a couple of stick and don't keep that in my hand. And come right here. And how do I make... Fence gate, fence gate. Never remember that recipe. Perfect. So now we can come back here and put a fence gate. Voila. Okay, so now we're going to need to light up this area. So I'm going to need some. Ah. Oh, that was super dumb. I was going to alt and mine that. That would have been so bad. Okay, so now that this is. The stupid penguin is in my boat. Wow, I didn't know that uh, mobs could go in your boat. Okay, so let's come back right here and see, do I have more torches somewhere? No, no, so it's super simple to make a bit more. You know what, let's grab this. Time to bring these furnace on the other side. Like as we go, as we need stuff, I'm just going to start bringing my material. Oh no, I grabbed it. There's no reason to go underground. And those are gonna give me a little bit more slab, by the way. So stone pebble should probably bring that over too. And let's grab that one too. And let's go back to the other side. Like I said, sorry, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth in, the, these epi in this episode because I haven't finished moving my whole base over, but it's worth it to get things done. So one, two, three, and uh, you know, let's split this in three. One, two, three, and like this, and one, two, three. 
this, this, and this, and the rest is going to become torches. We just need to light this area up so that we don't get any mob spawn because that would not be nice. And then we're going to be able to go to the next quest line. So if I come back here, I'm going to go corner, center, corner, center, corner, center, corner, and right here for symmetry, each side. And now let's press F7. Yeah, perfect. This is fully lighted up. Okay, so now if I come back here, we're going to go into the next quest line. So the next quest line is Summoning Altar. So it wants us to make a Summoning Altar. The Summoning Altar can be used to summon some mobs. Placing the required item inside in the Catalyst last will start the summoning. So we want to make a Summoning Altar. Three poor transformation matter and four woods. So we've semi-automated. Wow, 1.27k. Yeah, okay, we're going to be okay with resource. So let's come back here, grab a stack of this. And then the summoning altar goes like this. And voila. Uh, and what's the next step? So that's done. The next step is grass seed created in the summoning altar by using seagrass on it. So let's grab a couple. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make four of these grass seeds just to try and accelerate the process. I'm gonna put that in the center right here and voila. This is a nice, cool little animation. I love this. So let's grab the seed, put it there. Put the next one, put this one there. And I'm gonna use just three and I'm gonna keep one just in case I need it for something else later. I don't know that I will, but I don't see any problem in keeping a little bit. So now let's come back here. We've done this. And the next one was grass block. Create a grass block by using a grass seed on the dirt block. Perfect, that's detected. And artifact. Various different artifacts can be obtained by killing mimics. These can be summoned in the altar using eight chests and then using a poor transformation powder on it. Huh. Eight chest, you say? Eight chest and a poor powder. So let's go and try that. So one, two, oh, it put all eight. Okay. Does not have the correct block below it. Hmm. How do I, oh, that's how I remove them. So if I, do chest and I go here. Oh, it needs to be a grass block under. What? So, so the reason I didn't have a grass block under is I thought that, you know, when you put a block on, uh, on grass, it becomes whatever else. I thought it was going to do that. Oh, perfect. So that works. So now we can get a chest. Let's close the door and do that. And that should get us a trap chest or a mimic, sorry. Okay. I didn't know. Oh, God. Uh, this mob is more dangerous than I thought. Oh, I can just cheese it like this. And what did that give me? A... Snorkel. What? Nope, in here. Oh, wow. What a bonus. This is actually going to be super useful. Whoa, okay. Color me happy. Okay, so now let's try and do this whole quest line. I think I have the resource for it. I'm not sure, but I think I do. So to spawn a wolf, so I need wolf, chicken, and let's do them in order. So let's just come in here and say spawn egg wolf. So wolf is spider eyes, poor transformation, bone. So you know what? Spider eye, 
bone for transformation powder and we're just going to try and follow the recipe so i'm going to close this off in case they i don't know if it's going to give me an egg or actually Okay, goodbye. Or actual wolves. So I need two eyes, one transformation, one bone. So two eyes, one, two, one transformation, one bone. So let's put that in. Eyes, transformation, bone. And now, voila. So while we're waiting, let's look at the chicken. Chicken. Chicken is same but with string. Let's get out of here and buy. Oh, it's going to get crowded in there. So string, bone, uh, bone, poor transformation powder. So let's just check. So that's chicken. The next one is going to be cow. Cow is, of course, rotten flesh. That totally makes sense. Uh, then cow, pig. Oh, no, two rotten flesh. Perfect. So Two string, two rotten flesh. Uh, what's the next one? Pig, sheep. So pig. Uh, pig is going to be um, two eyes, one rotten flesh. Okay, but what what is cow then? I thought that that was cow. Oh, leather. One, two, three, four. I need to do this and i only need one rotten flesh and i'm going to put this in the drying rack but i already have one letter produced so i'm going to put the leather right here and sleep and then we're going to check the next recipe the next recipe is sheep and cat so sheep right here sheep is going to be a wool oh, what a surprise one two three four Probably have some wool somewhere, not looking for it, just going to do this and get that. Perfect. Then, what's the next one? Uh, cat. Cat is a raw cod. I don't know that I have raw cod, so I guess the cat's going to have to wait. But let's go back to the second one, which was uh, chicken. You just chicken was only one string perfect so i was screwing that up so they're basically all if i go back to the recipe yeah that's the mistake i was making so there are no bones they're basically always two spider a poor powder and whatever is the item for that mob so one two one oh one one you know what i'm afraid that the wolf are going to attack the other mob so what can i do for that you know what i'm going to if i go back to the old base i remember we got some uh what's it called we got some uh mob nets and uh, mob nets some safari net i just need to check if they're single used first and mob imprisonment tool and they're not one use first so like i said i'm afraid that the wolf are going to be aggressive so i'm going to put the frogs down and grab the wolves okay one second i'm going to do something temp very temporary don't want to lose the frog and I just thought about maybe the frog can jump too high okay so if I do this and I put a frog there and then I do this oh need more wood so basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of making sure that the frogs can't get out put the second frog right there now I can pick up the wolves just in case they're aggressive. And I'm going to... You know what? I can make wolves again. I can make wolves anytime I want. And right now I don't care about the wolves. So I'm just going to put the wolves back down. And... Uh, oh, I don't have... I'm going to need to make another axe. But that's something I can do later. 
let's just grab back my frogs because what if the frogs do despawn? I'm not going to take that chance. And like I just said, the wolves, I can respawn whenever I want. So I have no care in the world for them. Perfect. So let's do that. Then it's going to be this two eyes and perfect. So those are chickens. Great. This, this, and this followed by this. That's going to be my cows. Uh, no, my pig, I believe. Yeah, these are going to be my cow. Then what's the last one? That's going to be my sheep. One and one. Oh, I need to actually start the process. And what am I? Oh, no, I need. Uh... <sighs> this is getting crowded, but it's working. So let's get out of here. I'm going to just try and see if I can get a cod quickly. So one, two, and then three sticks. That should be super easy. And can we fish for a cod? We just need one. So if we can get a cod on the first try, then we'd be able to get our cat. And that would be another quest line fully done. Hello. I wish fishing wasn't this long. Nope. Of course not a cod. What is this? At an Atlantic airing. Oh, I didn't think of this. It might be not possible to get a cod. I would be surprising, but since... Okay, I'm done with my conversation, my fake conversation with myself. I can come back here and go one, two, one, two. So two spider eyes, raw cod, transformation powder, second transformation powder. And this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. And that's my sheep. Sheep done. And where's my cat? Right here. And that's my cat. And then I can leave all of these right there. I don't care to continue with these anymore. Let's get rid of this, this, and this, and put everything else in my drawer system. Perfect. So now, can we complete CC2? That's the last thing I'd like to do. And then next episode, we would get started into Bronze Age. So CC2, we need 8, 8, and 16. I have that on me. Nope, I don't have 16 of those on me. That's hurt. That hurts a little bit because I would prefer to use those for blocks, but whatever. So that's done. Uh, flint, we need 32 flint. So let's just come here, grab some flint, go to the quest, submit that. Uh, we need some glass. So I think we have glass on the other side. Let's go back to the other side. I think I made half a stack of glass earlier, and if not, then I'm going to need some sand up. So, no. No. No, this is not looking good. And yes, I do have glass. So, let's submit that glass. Then it wants us porcelain clay. Okay. So, porcelain clay. Um, Got three. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just do that quickly uh, using this and I need to make an automated setup for this but that's going to be a bit later so that's going to be 12 times 2 that's going to be 24 that's going to be exactly what we need wow great so let's grab this and is there anything else here that I want not for now so again let's go back to the other side sorry a lot of back and forth I didn't finish transferring the whole base but in my time lapse, I'm for sure going to finish transferring the whole base. So now if I come here, I should have some dust. Oh, no, I don't have dust because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Whew. I really got lucky with this. So now I have 27, which is just enough for the quest. So let's come right here and submit that. 
Then we need the four leather. That's why I had pre-prepared leather. Oh, four. I made too much, but I probably will need books at some point, so that's not a problem. I need eight poor organic matter. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I already have a ton here. I'm gonna have to go back to the other side to make those, but while we're here, we need eight of each of these resource. So let's come back here. One, one, and one. Let's submit. Submit. Oh no, one, one. Submit. Submit. So that's done. Put that back. You know what? Put everything back. And now let's go on the other side because everything else that I need is on the other side right now. I need stone. I need three forms of stone, I believe. So let's come back right here. So I'm going to need two stack of stones. No, I'm going to need, yeah, sorry, two stack of stone. So these I'm going to make into stone blocks. Let's let me go to the quest. So I need to submit one stack, one stack, and one stack of cobblestone. Voila. And finally, the eight organic matter. And that should be fairly simple. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right here, oh, four, five. I already have eight. And voila, CC2 completed. And now we get better power. So this is really important because basically, this compression dynamo and a jet ski so the reason this uh, compression dynamo is important if you look at it it's upgraded with three auxiliary reaction uh, chamber and a resonant integral update which means this is going to massively produce more power so now let's go back to the other side and we're going to, i'm going to show you the jet ski and that's going to be the end of the episode during my time lapse, let me just explain the time lapse quickly. During my time lapse, I'm going to set up more drawers. I'm going to go adventuring a little bit because what I'd like to do is get more terracotta because I really want to make more uh, bot hopping botany pot because I really want to make like massive amount of wood. And I'm going to have to set up my lava line. I didn't do the production line, which I'm really sad for, but there was so much to do. So next episode, we're going to have to do the production line to start getting gravel and start getting um, gravel and dust so that we can see that. And that's going to be the main part. So now for the jet ski. First, let's sleep. Jet ski is like an amazingly fast vehicle, but it's, it's very weird kind of thing. So I'm going to come down at the end of the K right here. Put it down. Okay, and the first thing you'll need to do, I've already done that, but you'll, <coughs> sorry, you'll need to go do it. If you come here to the keybind, uh, ski, hmm, what is it called? I thought it was called jet ski. I remember having a hard time finding it. I think, just let me search a little bit for it again. Uh, decrease, oh, unless our ocean jet ski. So, category, jet ski, perfect. So for the jet ski, the way this works, and this is really weird, is that you need to increase the speed and decrease the speed. So I put the increase speed on equal and the decrease speed on minus. I might change the minus, I'm not sure that I like it in the power on off on uh, star. So when you get on your jet ski, you need first to do star to power it on. And then if you press equal, see we're going at, we just accelerate like this and just can go around like this. And it's super fast. And like I said, I wanted to go adventuring what I want to do in, in my adventuring is basically, like I said, I want to harvest another one like this, but what I specifically want to do 
is find another big boat because there are tons of big boats out there and I want another big boat so that I can get the missing seed. I'm missing a, oh, right here. Oh, stop, 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 start. Okay, so I stopped it, but I still need to get a bit closer. Oh, now I need to restart it. And then I'm going to stop it. And dismount. And oh, there's a trader here. So Karen Sunday is a trader, which is very, very not useful. We can make boats very easily, but I came here for the loot. So if I look at all this nice loot, I get the carrot, which I already had, and some gold and one iron ingot. So that's really not what I wanted. I'm gonna go back to the base, and at the base, I'm going to make a little bit of space in my inventory because going to adventure with no space is the dumbest thing ever, but I wanted to show you what I was going to do. So we're going to go adventuring, and my goal is to find beetroots, melon seed, pumpkin seed, so I can set those up in botany pot, and also grab a little bit of resources. And stop, perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my lava production, I'm going to set power production. I'm gonna finish moving this whole island and depending on how much time I have, I'm gonna go adventuring a little bit to try and grab as many resources as I can for the uh, next episode. Well, so that we're ready for the next episode. So let me just come back here and get rid of some of these things. Like so, I don't need this for now. And like I said, I'm going to move everyone, everything to this side. Then I'm going to set up the lava production with more, maybe a bit more cobblestone production because I don't like the speed of this. If I come here, eh, it's not that bad, but I need to compress that because I'm going to flux armor only compress cobblestone. So that's it. That's, that's my plan for now. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.